Now comes the part where we learn which ways the wheels turn. The wheels turn either clockwise or counterclockwise. So let's remember which way a clock turns. Clocks turn clockwise. Notice how both hands are moving the same direction. We can also do that with a Rubik's Cube. Here I have drawn a clock with the four times on it. And if I put my Rubik's Cube on top of that, I can move the top side in the same way. I can move it clockwise. I can also move the right side clockwise. I can also move the left side clockwise. I can move the front side clockwise. I can move the back side clockwise. And I can move the bottom side clockwise. I can also move these sides counterclockwise. On a clock, counterclockwise looks much like this. Time goes backwards because the hands go backwards than clockwise. This is counterclockwise. On a Rubik's Cube, you can also move the sides counterclockwise. This is called counter up. I like to call it up inverted. This is called front inverted because you're moving the front side counterclockwise. This is called right because you're moving it clockwise. This is called right inverted because you are moving it counterclockwise. This is called left inverted because you are moving the left side. This is called right inverted because you are moving the right side counterclockwise. And if we take a peek in the back, this is called back inverted because we are moving the back side counterclockwise. And finally, if we take a peek at the bottom, then this is called down inverted. So those are our 12 moves. We have six sides. Each one of them can move either clockwise or counterclockwise. In these videos, I will be showing you letters. Letters indicate what side I'm talking about and if you should move it clockwise or counterclockwise. The letters are U for the upside, front for the front side, right for the right side, left is represented by L, the back side is represented by B, and the downside is represented by D. So these are the six letters you will see. You will also see apostrophes next to those letters. The apostrophe means to turn the cube counterclockwise. An example of this is to do up inverted and front means to do the front clockwise. And you only do one turn per letter. Now the last thing we got to do before we get started is to learn one more thing about letters. Sometimes I'm going to write a number next to the letter. If I write a number next to the letter, that means that this means right and then another right. So two rights equals R2.